Circle like a moon yeah. was actually like a square painting, and he changed it, but you couldn't tell. It was so good, and then um, he sold like six t shirts or something, so he made like 60 quid. And he like, yeah. organized the event. You're going to have to do it again, Luca, I missed you. Huh? Do you not want to do it again? Yeah. Sorry, I think this is the first time I've ever had the camera. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Very nice. Smiling Luca. Are you ready then? Yes, I am. Everybody else sings. Here you go, man. Video views.
Here's all our materials. In here is mainly wood chip, and over here are the grass cuttings that have accumulated over the summer. And if we can, we're going to try and get rid of some of these pine needles here, as well as all of the meadow cuttings there. Here's the garden wastes and the meadow grasses, which are all cut from this area down here and behind the pond down there. I've got to make it or something and I thought well I've, I've had a look from the outside but I haven't actually been round the inside. Um, so I was just having a nose round the inside and I could hear some squeaking going on down here. So in between all the rushes there, yeah. what the moorhens do is they, they bend the, uh, the leaves of the rushes and then they weave a little basket that's sort of hung about two inches above the pond and that's it. they lay their eggs in there right. right but next to that there was these two sort of tubes going through all the grass that overhangs the edge and that's where that, that's where they do all their activity right so, so i come makes, down there was like seven eggs in this thing and i was like oh brilliant so and then a week later i came back and i was just about to go and i thought oh hang on there's eggs i better go and have a look so i came down took me ages to find it found it and there was only one egg left but all of the babies that had hatched were in these tunnels and I could hear them cheeping. And I bent down like to listen to the egg and I could hear the one that the last one that was inside it Fuck cracking it its way out. Yeah. yeah I know. So so this side here, that's where the moorhens have all their uh, action. Then the, the ducks seem to prefer to build their nests in amongst the, the uh, flag iris, those ones over there. Yeah. Um, and um, they sort of keep to, keep to themselves. But I think we had like about three three nests of more hens this year and a couple of nests of ducks. So what do you have you? That's all been in there since you originally planted then. Uh, yeah. So do you, yeah, you? I put all of this in. I mean, there was nothing in. Do, do you reduce that every now and again? No. Uh, well, what what happens with the rushes? See all this one here. Yeah. Um, the sides of the pond go down quite steeply, and that catches all the soil. So. Um, they never stop growing, so they sort of carry on making rhizomes through them big yeah. fleshy bits yeah. over there. They keep so on that's just like normal iris, isn't it? You know, oh, th no, iris. this isn't the iris, this is the, this is the uh, rushes. Right. See, they make these yeah. right, with, their, with their shoots on the end, yeah. but it goes out into the pond looking for soil. Right. And if there's no soil, it just sort of flops over and breaks off, so I have to take it off for it clogs the ponds up. Right, okay. But all of this... That's ready to plant. Yeah, you can just stick that yeah. straight in the ground. Straight in the ground and you're away. And, I mean, 
I, I'm, I had maybe a barrel of this when we started, and you see how much there is now. It's all this, all the way down here. Wow. Um, and this is like what five years or something. I think that's not bad, is something it? Something like that. So what so I do? It's actually sort of creeping its way in, into the pond, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, that's what happens with ponds. They get these marginals. The marginals catch the soil, and so the the area of the pond is gradually reduced, and yeah. you've got like a little stream running well, through the middle, and all the rest is is turned into marsh. So yeah, some of it. And what we'll do is build layers of the grass, the garden waste, the seaweed, and what's over there, the wood shavings and lawn cuttings. going to do is put these shavings, which are very dry, as a base initially and then we'll sprinkle them through as we build the layers. What I want to do is just get some film of this. <laughs> the stuff that we made last year, which is all made from the same material. <laughs> yeah, what we'll do now oops, is. Uh, what we're going to do is. Put some shavings, which are very dry, as a base initially, and then we'll sprinkle them through as we build the layers. But you know, effectively, what we're doing here is just building alternating layers of of this material the old one yeah. you can use it as an activator yeah, but, but it's yeah, not necessary really right you want all of that no i want to cover it up i'm not going to cover it up if you're using it because you're not using it at work no i'm not particularly i could put a sprinkler in on but to be honest with you i said it's not necessary i know it's going to be built and left for a year again isn't it yes Hmm? Yeah. So, um, so are these. you going to, you, you plan to go further that way? Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so, hang on, have you got more, you haven't got more boxes? Have you? No, but once we've built this one up high enough, I'll yeah. take them boxes away. Oh, right, okay. Oh, so you've got enough boxes then? I have yeah, got any here, I can get some, but I'll say, if you can use those, then I'd rather not bring them. Yeah, you know, just a bit of a couple more in here, so. I'll just have to the end of this one up. You're not going any higher, are you? A li well, a little. Oh, right. We're going a little bit higher, yeah, but I can't. Well, it's a struggle, there's enough of a bit, could you add? Yeah. No, no, there's no cup of eggy with it, that needs to be. Yeah. Cool, okay. We'll take a bit of that, whatever. We'll do is we'll get the next. Just do a little base and we'll start pulling along. Got it? Wait, 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 the white fungus, the no, no, I would like to no, see. No. Purple one there, look, it's kind of shaped oh, like yeah, it's flowers. Oh, yes, it's easier, isn't it? No, it's not. I didn't remember that, and there's another. It might be the same family, but it's not easier, they don't grow on other green eggs.
Two other products we'll be using, a bit of QR and a little bit of garden lime. Um, and actually look, there's this stuff as well. It's a bit like Lifram. It is Lifram. Oh, it is Lifram. Lifram. Okay, so it's a, that's a lovely plant. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favourite herbaceous plants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. What this one tends to do is it grows up like this because it's on the end of a pond. This stuff gets heavier than the uh, side of the pond can support, so it swaps over. Right. And then it starts growing from the tips again. Right. So again, you this, get a this one flush. creeps and. Yeah. yeah. I like Lifram. So, um, where did you source that? Did you have to order it or? No, no, the, it grows in the um, ponds around, uh, the part of the stream around the one pond. So you just sort of took, like, you took it, propagated yeah. it from that? Yeah. Okay. Well, propagated it, yanked it out yeah, of the pond, that's stuck propagation. it in that's the mud. That's propagation, <laughs> mate. It, it doesn't matter how you do it. It's it is. <laughs> propagation nonetheless. It is, but it was like sort of hoik, plonk. Yeah. That was it. That's my propagation technique. So this is the uh, expensive overflow that I have to put in. When we were here the other day, <coughs> I got down. So you see down down there, there's all sorts of little blobs on the side, which is, um, I think there's three different kinds of snail's eggs down there. Right. Um, there's loads of uh, damsel fly larvae. Um, this here, it doesn't look like anything, but if you press into it, there's all sorts of mig larvae down there as well. Um, so yeah, even this has got its own ecosystem going on. Fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's some overflow, yeah. Yeah, well, I have like to get the, I've got a big uh, valve in there. Right, so you can drop the water level. Well, I can, if I want to, yeah, I can, every now and then I just start to open it, let it flood through, and it takes all the build up of the crap away from the other side there. Otherwise, it will all clog up. Look at the size of this stuff now. And then inside the pond as well, which makes a nice sound there as well, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I know, it's lovely. Inside there, there's loads of, um, you know, like I've got curled pondweed, I've got um, both fish, floating water, starwet. There probably are some, but I haven't looked actually. Yeah. I'm more interested in all the insects, but there's loads of dragonfly larvae and dragonfly larvae. Stuff like that, other flies. You can't see it forever, eh? If you look at it from here, you wouldn't think it's man made, you can No, well, it's a perfect place for it, so, you yeah. know, it didn't take long to get stuff in, really. Planted to um, solidify the bun because it was just like a pile of mud basically. Right. So I stuck a load of willow in there because that sort of roots over the surface. Yeah. So it holds it all together so yep. that even if that, which it couldn't now, clog yep. up, but even if that did clog up and the water came over, over, came over you've, just, you've, yeah. got, you've got a root system. To yeah, yeah, it wouldn't all run away. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, that's, that's impressive good. stuff. Fair play. Plants it out here. Oh. 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 Oh.